Alright, this time I'm going to show you how to clear decimals. Now notice 3.2 or 3 and 2 tenths, 5.4 or 5 and 4 tenths. To clear a decimal, we're going to multiply in this case by 10. Now notice I'm also multiplying that 7 by 10. If I do it to one number, I have to do it to all the numbers. So 10 times 3.2 is 32x. 10 times 7 is negative 70, excuse me, include the minus, and 10 times 5.4 is 54. Then I'm going to add 70 to both sides. Now you'll notice this is a much easier problem to deal with than all those nasty decimals. So when I divide by 32, x equals 3.8. 0.875. Now, this is an exact answer. I did not round. Okay, as long as you're not rounding, you want to leave it as a decimal. If it had been a number that was not exact, you would have wanted to, wanted to write it as a fraction. Now, if you want to check, you want to plug it back in. The exception to writing an answer here as a fraction is if it says to round. If it said round of two decimal places, I would have put 3.88 and that's an approximate answer. But it didn't, there's no directions here, so this is the exact answer and I want to leave it as exact as I can. So number two, notice this one is a little different because this is tenths and this is hundredths. If I multiplied everything by ten, I would still have a decimal. So instead, I'm going to multiply everything by one hundred because this is hundredths and the only way to get rid of all those decimal places is to multiply by 100. 100 times 2.1 is 210. 100 times 5x is negative 5x, 500x. And then over here we'd have 173. Make sure you take care of the 5x too. It has to be multiplied by 100. Then subtract 210 from both sides. This gives us negative 500x equals negative 37. And divide by negative 500. Okay, once again, this answer is exact. When I put it in my calculator, I got 0 0.074. If it had not been exact, I would have written it as a fraction, but this was exact.